We've seen a parade of Senate Republicans come out against the president's tariff threat. But in Trump's Republican Party, you break with him at your own peril, even on an issue that's been party orthodoxy for the last few decades. Even the top Republican in the House doesn't want to uh, see these tariffs. But he basically signaled to his caucus that if you want to oppose the president, you've got to support him. I'm not making this up. Here's what he told NBC News about the president imposing these tariffs. Nobody wants that to happen. That's why I think from one, uh, one aspect, if we're all united going in, we can end up with no tariffs. So and that's you, what we should be. So it's undercutting and more likely to have a tariff if you undercut the president before going into the negotiations. So to be clear, would you whip and would you push your members that's not hypo, to... You're dealing in a hypothetical. So you got it. He's saying the party needs to unite behind the president's decision to threaten the idea of tariffs on Mexico in order to make sure he doesn't impose tariffs on Mexico. And then there's Chuck Schumer's comments today, which make you wonder if he's trying to goad the president into the political buzzsaw of imposing these tariffs by publicly calling him too chicken to go through with it. This is what American politics is today. I said yesterday that I don't believe that President Trump will follow through on his threat to impose tariffs on Mexico. The president has a tendency for bluster. The president needs a way out of his bluster. I continue to believe that he'll back off. That has been his M.O. Now, well, you know what that means. Anyway, whatever happens, the political ramifications are going to be huge, as he might say. This could be another transformational moment for the Republican Party, by the way, into something they haven't been in generations. It's not 2019 in the Republican Party. It might be 1919. Protectionism. Tariffs. We have a holly in the Senate. Will we find a spoot? Let's turn to some reporters and experts. I knew you'd like that one, Ramesh. Joining me now from the White House is NBC's Kristen Welker. Juana Summers is AP national political reporter. Ramesh Panuru. Give me a little chuckle with that one there on Smoot Holly is senior fellow at the National Review Institute and a Bloomberg columnist. And Howard Feynman is an NBC News analyst. Kristen, uh, I know we are we are waiting with bated breath to see if something comes out. Can we be realistic here? Can Mike Pence and Mike Pompeo cut a deal with the president across the Atlantic? I think that's going to be very tough, Chuck. And I should tell you that just a moment ago, I got a text message from a senior administration official who confirms that that meeting is ongoing. So we're going into about a little bit short of an hour and a half now. Will there be a deal? Based on my conversations, the expectations are very low, very low that that's going to happen because, of course, the president is overseas. He's also overseas with a number of top officials who work on immigration policy. Jared Kushner, Stephen Miller, John Bolton overseas with President Trump. So who is in the room? We know that the Mexican foreign minister, his delegation is there, as well as the secretary of state and the vice president, of course, leading these talks, as well as other top officials. I was speaking to an administration official and said, what does a deal look like? What is it that you guys want to get? And they go back to this talking point, Chuck, which is we want the border to be secured, but really skim on the details. So again, it, by all accounts, it's going to be very tough to get a deal this afternoon and as you point out a mounting number of republicans speaking right. out against these tariffs but what are they actually prepared to do about it kristen i look at the people in this room right now mm -hmm. mike pence we know where he would congressman mike pence and governor mike pence hated tariffs mark short he comes from the ryan wing of the republican party mm -hmm. Mike Pompeo, yes, again, somebody not a fan of, at least Congressman Mike Pompeo wasn't. Um, Kevin McAleenan is a, is, is, a, is a Border Patrol guy, first and foremost. I'm, I don't, I'm not going to pretend to know where he is on tariffs. And obviously the White House counsel in there is in there to talk about the legality of all of this. Right. But that is what makes this odd. It feels as if the people meeting with the Mexicans are probably all very sympathetic to the Mexican government's point of view. I think that's right. And remember, even Jared Kushner was opposed to President Trump making this threat to issue 5 percent of tariffs on all Mexican goods next Monday if Mexico doesn't do more to stem the flow of migrants. So you're absolutely right. Look, the president is yet again on yet another issue, sort of apart from a number of his top advisors. So, again, that raises questions about how exactly they are going to be able to cut a deal with Mexico. Mexican officials, by the way, Chuck saying, look, they feel as though they have have been cracking down on the flow of migrants crossing the border. But just today, the CBP out with new statistics right. saying that 144,000 uh, undocumented migrants crossed the border last month, and that's a 13-year high, Chuck. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there.
Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.